Hi, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston, and today I'm gonna to take you through a brand new boat we have from Boston Whaler. This is a 2024 380 Outrage. Let's have a look. So here on the transom of the 380 Outrage, this boat is powered by twin V12 7.6 liter, 600 horsepower Mercury Verados with joystick incredible performance and very smooth handling on this boat. Full walkthrough transom with plenty of real estate around here to get from one side of the boat to the other. We've got stainless steel grab rails, recessed cleats on both sides, rod holders, and a really nice live well here on the back of the transom. As you enter the cockpit, we have a freshwater sprayer to rinse off as you're coming in from the beach or the salt. Really tall and big and thick cockpit door, fiberglass cockpit door, huge, cockpit area if you're doing any fishing, but also a great area for entertaining as well. When I pull out this stern seat, you'll notice no exposed hardware, big oversized cushion, nice tall backrest, can easily seat three adults. This is the sea gray upholstery option. Looks really sharp on this boat with a painted platinum hull. We have tow rails on both sides with the larger, longer portion off to the starboard side. You'll notice the teak accents that you'll see throughout the boat. We've got another jump seat off to the starboard side of the cockpit. Big oversized cleats and hardware throughout. Shore power connections here off the starboard side. JL audio system throughout the boat as well. We've got a dive ladder that stows really nicely and conveniently underneath that stern seat, which you can utilize for this big heavy duty swing in dive door, stainless steel grab handle right there for easy access to and from the water. And that's where that reboarding ladder drops into place. We've got large fish boxes on both sides that also serve as great options for storage. We have all three of our oversized fenders and lines stowed in here. These fish boxes continue all the way further forward. So plenty of room for that big fish, but also great for storing some of your items for the day. Systems access on this boat is impressive as it is with all Boston Whaler models. Easy access down to all the boat systems, through holes, pumps, filters, etc. Our generator is stored here, and we've also got dedicated storage for our cockpit tables. Backside of the leaning post is a prep area and also a summer kitchen. When I raise this lid, I've got a nice solid surface countertop, a freshwater sink, and a Kenyan electric grill off to the left side. Got plenty of storage options, four cup holders total, and then a lot of cabinetry style storage beneath the countertop area. This boat does have the powered sunshade option, so I can shade this cockpit area. You'll notice the underside of the hardtop has the platinum colored gel coat to match the platinum painted hull. We've got another fresh water sprayer off to the port side. Further forward, we've got a refrigerator and stereo remote. Here at the helm, we've got seating for three, including a port side observer seat with a fold down footrest, making it easier to get on and off the seat. Again, you'll notice the teak accents on the, on the armrest look absolutely gorgeous in addition to what you have on the back side. This forward seat is actually powered, so you can bring it closer or further away from the helm area. Very comfortable position, whether you're seated or standing. You've got two angled footrests with some non-skid on that teak accent. Big oversized steering wheel on a tilt base with a steering knob but you also have a nice drop down platform here. So if you're shorter and you want a little taller vantage point, you got a nice elevated platform to stand on. Dropping this down, again, very comfortable position to operate the boat or sit on either side of the driver. Huge touch screen from Simrad has all of your chart plotter and MFD screens. Digital throttle and shift on those Mercury V12 600s. Boat's got trim tabs and LED indicators, and of course our joystick, which includes our autopilot and skyhook features. We do have air conditioning on this boat at the helm and down below in the cabin. Glove box style storage above, Simrad VHF unit, and this is a Seakeeper boat with your controls here, it's a Seakeeper 6 unit. So down here in the cabin on the 380 Outrage, we've got really nice headroom, natural overhead lighting, nice forward berth area that extends really far forward. Great for storage, but also if you wanna do any overnighting or if you wanna have a, put the kids down for a quick nap, get them out of the weather, you can do that as well. This little insert flips over. You have a really nice high gloss teak, teak finish with two cup holders here. Off to the starboard side, you've got a glass vessel sink, fresh water, storage shelf behind, stainless steel grab handle, 
little trash receptacle behind this cabinetry. Off to the starboard side, we have storage for our rods, more cabinetry as well for storage, our sound system control, AC control, and lighting, along with our distribution panel are behind these cabinets as well. Off to the starboard side, you've got a microwave behind a hidden cabinet, and then here inside the head, enclosed head, with a full-size mirror, teak floor as you enter as well, ton of headroom, overhead lighting, and then we've also got a fold-down teak seat with a magnetic catch so you can be seated when you're taking a shower. Pull out shower wand here. You got air conditioning inside here as well. And then uh, overhead storage, mirror, and the natural light coming in also. Coming up to the bow on the 380 Outrage, one thing you'll immediately notice, huge chase lounge up front. Incredibly popular area for everybody to sit. Got a nice console with cup holders, armrests on both sides. Well, look how deep this is. Somebody who's well over six feet tall you can very comfortably sprawl out. You drop the console up, you can easily seat three adults, maybe even a couple parents and a couple small kids. You've got recessed areas on both sides of the boat as you come forward midship and at the bow for storage. Great place to hold lines, smaller items like that. Really deep storage beneath the chase lounge. Beautiful finish on all the fiberglass. Everything's done really well. You've got a bow shade kit. We can totally shade this area when we're anchored or beached. Tons of expansive seating up here. This is a cocktail table in the down position with a filler cushion on top. So you've got a faux teak finish on top of that table, and this does raise and lower. So with this in the down position, you've got a huge sunbed up here in addition to what you have at the Chase Lounge. These backrests do come up really nicely, go up and down very smooth. Very comfortable position up here to catch some sun when you're underway. You've also got storage on both sides beneath these lockers, single lever and latch. We have sound system controls up here, 12 volt charger, pump out for this Ford fish box in the floor. And then again, controls for this table. Really deep fish box in the floor with a pump out with a remote control on the starboard side. But you see how deep this is? You got a lot of versatile storage options here in addition to fishing applications. You can see I got this bow table currently in the up position. You got a great place to hang out up here. Whether you're doing a cocktail cruise or you're just anchored or gonna have a nice lunch, you definitely have the amenities to do so. And then we've also got rod holders on either side, so they can, of course, hold a rod, but they can also hold that bow sunshade kit that was stowed underneath the, the uh, chase lounge area. Drop the stanchions into the rod holders, connect that up to the shade, shade goes back to the hard top. You can have a nice cabana up here on the bow, totally under the shade and out of the sun. Recess cleats up in the foredeck. Anchor windlass lid is on a gas shock, so we've got fresh water connections up here, remote to control our windlass in addition to what we have back at the helm. So a great working area when it's time to drop anchor. That's a walkthrough of our 380 Outrage from Boston Whaler. If you have any interest in this boat or any of our others, give us a call at 843-747-1889 and always check us out online at marinemax.com. And thanks for watching.